Welcome, beloved. This is Evangelist Gloria Marjorie. Today I'll be reading Deuteronomy as I had a vision from God to share this book with everyone out there. Before I begin, I would like to read Genesis chapter 1, verse 26. Quoting now, And God said, Let us make man in our image after our likeness. Beloved, this shows you the proof that God is three in one. Now, let's listen to Deuteronomy chapter 1. These be the words which Moses spake unto all Israel on this side Jordan in the wilderness, in the plain over against the Red Sea, between Paran and Tophel and Laban, Hazaroth and Dizahab. There are eleven days' journey from Horeb by the way of Mount Sihara unto Kadesh Barnea. And it came to pass in the fortieth year, in the eleventh month, on the first day of the month, that Moses spake unto the children of Israel, according unto all that the Lord had given him in commandment unto them, after he had slain Sion, the king of the Amorites, which dwelt in Hezbon and Oak, the king of Bashan, which dwelt at Ashtaroth in Edrei. On this side, Jordan, in the land of Moab, began Moses to declare this law, saying, The Lord our God spake unto us in Horeb, saying, You have dwelt long enough in this mount. Turn you and take your journey and go to the mount of the Amorites and unto all the places nigh there unto in the plain, in the hills, and in the vale, and in the south, and by the seaside, the land of the Canaanites, and unto Lebanon, unto the great river, the river Euphrates. Behold, I have set the land before you. Go in and possess the land which the Lord swear unto your fathers, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, to give unto them and to their seed after them. And I speak unto you at that time, saying, I am not able to bear you myself alone. The Lord your God hath multiplied you, and behold, you are this day as the stars of heaven for multitude. The Lord God of your fathers make you a thousand times so many more as you are, and bless you as he has promised you. How can I myself alone be your cumbrance and your burden and your strife? Take you wise men and understanding and known among your tribes, and I will make them rulers over you. And he answered me and said, This thing which thou hast spoken is good for us to do. So I took the chief of your tribes, wise men and known, and made them heads over you, captains over thousands and captains over hundreds, and captains over the fifties and captains over tens and officers among your tribes. And I charged your judges at that time, saying, Hear the causes between your brethren and judge righteously between every man and his brother and the stranger that is with him. He shall not respect persons in judgment, but you shall hear the small as well as the great. You shall not be afraid of the face of men, for the judgment is God's, and the cause that is too hard for you, bring it unto me and I will hear it. And I commanded you at that time all the things which you should do. And when we departed from Horeb, we went through all that great and terrible wilderness, which you saw by the way of the mountain of the Amorites, as the Lord our God commanded us. And we came to Kadesh, Kadesh Barnea, and I said unto you, You are come unto the mountain of the Amorites, which the Lord our God doth give unto us. Behold, the Lord thy God hath set the land before thee. Go up and possess it, as the Lord God of thy fathers hath said unto thee. Fear not, neither be discouraged. And you came near unto me, every one of you, and said, We will send men before us, and they shall search out the land and bring us word again by what way we must go up and into what cities we shall come. And the saying pleased me well, and I took twelve men of you, one of a tribe. And they turned and went up into the mountain and came into the valley of Eshkol and searched it out. And they took of the fruit of the land in their hands and brought it down unto us and brought us word again and said, It is good land which the Lord our God doth give us. Notwithstanding, you would not go up but rebelled against the commandment of the Lord your God. And you murmured in your tents and said, Because the Lord hated us, he hath brought us forth out of the land of Egypt to deliver us into the hand of the Amorites to destroy us. Whither shall we go up? Our brethren have discouraged our hearts, saying, The people is greater and taller than we. The cities are great and walled up to heaven. 
and moreover we have seen the sons of the Anakims there. Then I said unto you, Dread not, neither be afraid of them. The Lord your God which goeth before you, he shall fight for you according to all that he did for you in Egypt before your eyes and in the wilderness we Thou hast seen how that the Lord thy God bear thee as a man doth be his son in all the way that you went until you came into this place. Yet in this thing you did not believe the Lord your God who went in the way before you to search you out a place to pitch your tents in. In fire by night to show you by what way you should go and in cloud by day. And the Lord heard the voice of your words and was wrath and swear saying, Surely there shall not one of these men of this evil generation see that good land which I swear to give unto your fathers. So Caleb the son of Jephana, he shall see it, and to him will I give the land that he hath trodden upon, and to his children, because he hath wholly followed the Lord. Also the Lord was angry with me for your sake, saying, Thou also shall not go in thither, but Joshua the son of Nun, which standeth before thee, he shall go in thither, encourage him, for he shall cause Israel to inherit it. Moreover, your little ones, which you said would be a prey, and your children, which in that day had no knowledge between good and evil, they shall go in thither, and unto them will I give it, and they shall possess it. But as for you, turn you and take your journey into the wilderness by the way of the Red Sea, then you answered and said unto me, We have sinned against the Lord. We will go up and fight according to all that the Lord our God commanded us. And when you have girded on every man his weapons of war, you were ready to go up into the hill. And the Lord said unto me, Say unto them, Go not up, neither fight, for I am not among you, lest you be smitten before your enemies. So I spake unto you, and you would not hear, but rebelled against the commandment of the Lord, and went presumptuously up into the hill. And the Amorites which dwelt in that mountain came out against you and chased you as bees do and destroyed you in Sayah even unto, unto Homer. And you returned and went before the Lord, but the Lord would not hearken to your voice nor give ear unto you. So you abode in Kadesh many days according unto the days that you abode there. Chapter 2. When we turned and took our journey into the wilderness by the way of the Red Sea, as the Lord spake unto me, and we compassed Mount Seir many days. And the Lord spake unto me, saying, You have compassed this mount long enough. Turn you northward, and command thou the people, saying, You are to pass through the coast of your brethren, the children of Esau, which dwell in Seir, and they shall be afraid of you. Take you good heed unto yourselves. Therefore meddle not with them, for I will not give you of their land. No, not so much as a foot breath, because I have given Mount Seir unto Esau for a possession. You shall buy meat of them for money that you may eat, and you shall also buy water of them for money that you may drink. For the Lord thy God hath blessed thee in all the works of thy hand. He knoweth thy walking through this great wilderness these forty years. The Lord thy God hath been with thee, thou hast lacked nothing. And when we passed by from our brethren, children of Esau, which dwelt in Seir, through the way of the plain from Elath, from Izon Gaba, we turned and passed by the way of the wilderness of Moab. And the Lord said unto me, Distress not the Moabites, neither contend with them in battle, for I will not be thee of their land for a possession. Because I have given Aor unto the children of Lot for a possession. The Imams dwelt therein in times past, of people great and many, and tall as the Anakims, which also were counted giants as the Anakims, but the Moabites called them Imams. The Horans also dwelt in Seher before time, but the children of Esau succeeded them when they had destroyed them from before them and dwelt in their stead, as Israel did unto the land of his possession which the Lord gave unto them. Now rise up, said I, and get you over the brook Zered. And we went over the brook Zered, and the space in which we came from Canish Barnea until we were come over the brook Zered was thirty and eight years until all the generations of the men of war were wasted out from among the host as the Lord sware unto them. For indeed the hand of the Lord was against them to destroy them from among the host until they were consumed. So it came to pass when all the men of war were consumed and dead from among the people that the Lord spake unto me saying, Thou art to pass over through Aor, the coast of Moab this day. 
And when thou comest nigh over against the children of Ammon, distress them not, nor meddle with them, for I will not give thee of the land of the children of Ammon any possession, because I have given it unto the children of Lot for a possession. That also was accounted a land of giants. Giants dwelt there in, in old time, and the Ammonites called them Zamzamims, uh, people great and many and tall, as the Anakims. But the Lord destroyed them before them, and they succeeded them and dwelt in their stead. As he did to the children of Esau, which dwelt in Seir, when he destroyed the Horems from before them, and they succeeded them and dwelt in their stead even unto this day. And the Avons, which dwelt in Hazarim even unto Azar, the Kaphtorans, which came forth out of Kaphtor, destroyed them and dwelt in their stead. Rise you up, take your journey, and pass over the river on, and behold, I have given into thine hand Sion, the Amorite king of Heshbon, and his land, begin to possess it and contend with him in battle. This day will I begin to put the dread of thee and the fear of thee upon the nations that are under the whole heaven, who shall hear report of thee and shall tremble and be in anguish because of thee. And I sent messengers out of the wilderness of Kedemoth unto Sion, king of Heshbon, with words of peace, saying, Let me pass through thy land, I will go along by the highway I will neither turn unto the right hand nor to the left. Thou shalt sell me meat for money that I may eat and give me water for money that I may drink. Only I will pass through on my feet as the children of Esau which dwelt in Seir and the Moabites which dwelt in Aor did unto me until I pass over Jordan into the land which the Lord our God giveth thee. But Sion king of Heshbon would not let us pass by him. For the Lord thy God hardened his spirit and made his heart obstinate that he might deliver him into thy hand as appeareth this day. And the Lord said unto me, Behold, I have begun to give Siren and this, his land before thee begin to possess that thou mayest inherit his land. Then Sion came out against us, he and all his people, to fight at Jaez. And the Lord our God delivered him before us, and we smote him and his sons and all his people. And we took all his cities at that time and utterly destroyed the men and the women and the little ones of every city. We left none to remain. Only the cattle we took for prey unto ourselves, and the spoil of the cities which we took from Aor, which is by the brink of the river Arnon, and from the city that is by the river even unto Galilee. There was not one city too strong for us, and the Lord our God delivered all unto us, only unto the land of the children of Ammon that came as not, nor unto any place of the river Jabok, nor unto the cities in the mountains, nor unto whatsoever the Lord our God forbade us. Here ends the reading today, beloved, of Deuteronomy chapter 1 and chapter 2, beloved. Now, beloved, I just want to ask you something. Love it. Is your name written in the book of life? Or are you one of them that was shouting, Crucify him, crucify him? Beloved, let me tell you what will happen to you if your name is not written in the book of life. Let me just find it in the word of God and I will read it to you. I'll read this 12 through 15. And I saw the dead, small and great, stand before God. And the books were opened, and another book was opened, which is the book of life. And the dead were judged out of those things which were written in the books according to their works. And the sea gave up the dead which were in it, and death and hell delivered up the dead which were in them. And they were judged every man according to their works, and death and hell were cast into the lake of fire. This is the second death, and here it comes. And whosoever was not found written in the book of life was cast into the lake of fire. Let me repeat, and whosoever was not found written in the book of life was cast into the lake of fire. Those are the ones that will not accept Jesus' blood sacrifice for the remission of their sins. So, beloved, I would just urge you to pray with me now. 
so that you, your final destination will be heaven and not the lake of fire. Father, come to you in the name of Jesus, Lord Jesus. I believe that you died to save me. And I thank you so much. I confess I'm a sinner, my Lord, and I repent for my sins. And I turn to you. I ask you to come into my heart and be my Lord and my God. And I now Yeshua, everything you created me to be and everything you give me to use in this life. I surrender all to you, my God. Please take total control of me. Be in the driver's seat of my life. I do understand that now my body is the temple of God. Christ in me, the hope of glory. Help me to glorify you and exalt you and magnify your holy name. And as well be a witness for you. Thank you that I did not need to do anything for my salvation because Yeshua Jesus said, it is finished. Tell us in the Hebrew. Freely I've been given. Help me, Lord, to freely give the gospel to others. So, my Lord, because your commandment says that I shall not have any gods before me, I will surely not have anything to idolize. I will not love anything or anybody more than I love you once again. What can I say? But thank you so much for loving and saving me from eternal punishment. I now declare that I am a blood born sanctified, justified child of the Most High God, and I wear the robe of righteousness in Christ. And so I know, Father God, that when you see me that day, when I shall surely come to stand before you, and you see the blood of Jesus for me, your arms will receive me as your very own child. Father, forever you are my God, and forever I'm your child. Jesus, I confess that you are now my Lord, my Savior, my Redeemer, my Messiah, and my coming King of Kings and Lord of Lords, and my God. Jesus, why do you want to cross you? said, Father, forgive them for they know not what they do. I'm so glad that I'm forgiven them. All my praise and thanks is to you, Adonai Yeshua. You said, no man comes unto the Father, but by me is my Lord. I believe there's no other way to the Father. Yeshua, Jesus, you are the way, the truth, and the life. And no man can come to the Father but by you. Hallelujah. Praise be to God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit, God the Three in One, my God, my God. Thank you for receiving me in my prayer surrender. I know now that my name is written down in glory and that your holy angels are rejoicing in heaven. Help me, Lord, always to glorify your holy and wonderful name. And it is in Yeshua's beautiful and majestic name I pray for them. Father, thank you that for by grace I must save through faith and that not myself. It is the gift of God, not of works as I should boast. Beloved, pray for the peace of Jerusalem. Beloved, my prayer is that after you in God's word, you are brought closer to Jesus, God honors faith. So faith comes by hearing the word of God channel. Beloved, if you have just prayed to receive Jesus as your Lord, congratulations, you are part of the family of God. You are the king's son or daughter. Your relationship with Jesus as your Lord will be exciting and satisfying under his guidance. So beloved, let God's will be done for you and not your will, beloved. Just surrender all to Jesus. God's will, not our will, is always best. You will have what God says you can have. You will be what God says you can be. You will learn how faithful and good God is. Wow, heaven will be your final destination. You will be with Jesus. Beloved, this amazing, kind, compassionate Jesus who died to save you from eternal punishment wants you to spend time with him. How will you spend time with Jesus, beloved? Yes, how you read his word every day. Then you pray, just talk to Jesus. Tell him everything Jesus will be listening with love and compassion because you are precious to him and he loves you dearly. So you can say, Abba, Father, that's Daddy God. Now, beloved, when you pray, how shall you come to God, beloved? You will say, Heavenly Father, I come to you in the name of Jesus, my Lord. Why? Because Jesus said nobody can come to the Father only through Jesus is the way, the truth, and the life. Makes you start praising, thanking, and blessing God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit. Well, beloved, now you are ready to make your request known to God. God will always listen and answer you. Sometimes the answer is yes, sometimes no, sometimes not. Now God will always do for you what is best and right for you. Don't give up. Pray without ceasing, beloved. Just have the deepest respect and reverence and worship for God. He alone is with There is no God like Job. Yahweh our God is God, period. The word of God says, be still and know that I am God. Beloved, this is Evangelist Glory Marjorie coming to you with a challenge. As Christians, we are to tell one another of Jesus. I challenge you today to tell someone, whether they be a stranger, friend, family member, believer or unbeliever, I challenge you to tell them of God's grace, the free gift and the promise of their name written in the book of life. Do it today, beloved, while the opportunity presents. For we know not what tomorrow brings. This is Evangelist Glory Morning, sending God's blessing your way, beloved. God loves you with an amazing love. And beloved, no one can pluck you out of your father's hands. Forever God's your father, forever you. 
Jewish child. Blessings from Glory Marjorie till next time, beloved. And now, Jonathan Kahn giving the ironic blessing. <laughs> of his grace upon every part of your life. The Lord God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob cause his glory of his presence to fall on you and the Lord give you shalom, life, fullness, peace, all the blessings of his love. B'Shem Yeshua HaMashiach in the name of Messiah Jesus, our hope in his name and all his people say, Amen. Amen. Thank you, Rabbi Jonathan Khan. Here yeah, now is Shireen to play on the strings. God be with you till we meet again. In loving memory of my beloved son and Shireen's brother, Emmanuel Christian, who is sheltered in the arms of Jesus. Praise God. Mm -hmm. 